Okay, so a very good evening to all of you. This video is on a much requested topic, which is the lichen planus. We are going to talk about what lichen planus is, what is its etiology, and what are the clinical features on the skin in this video. And in the next video, we will talk about the oral manifestation and histopathological features with the treatment. For more such videos, you can check out the channel to be told and the playlist oral pathology or skin disorders. So getting right into lichen planus. Now lichen planus is a relatively common chronic autoimmune mucocutaneous disorder. The first part tells us it is a chronic disease. So it occurs over a long period of time. The second part tells you it is an autoimmune disease. So the cells of the body attack one's own cells. Okay, instead of attacking the external pathogens, the attack is on the healthy cells of the body. The third part tells us that the uh, disorder is mucocutaneous. That means that the target of these cells is your mucous membrane as well as the skin. Right, so it is an autoimmune disease where the target are the mucous membrane and the skin. It was first described by Erasmus Wilson in 1869 as the lichen planus. Lichen are nothing but primitive plants which are composed of algae and fungi. Planus means flat, right? So what happens is that the lesions that occur in lichen planus resemble the flat primitive lichen plants. Moving on to the etiology, it is a T-cell mediated autoimmune disease. That means first there is a culprit within the body and two there is a victim of the own body. So the culprit here are CD8 plus T cells, right? So the culprit over here are CD8 plus T cells and they target your basal keratinocytes and induce apoptosis in the basal keratinocytes. So focus here. I will show you in the diagram. Here there are CD8 plus T cells which go and induce apoptosis in the basal keratinocytes. Why this happens is because CD8 plus cells, they recognize an antigen. The antigen associated with MHC class 1 in the basal keratinocytes. Once this happens, they cause the apoptosis of the cells, release of cytokines and recruitment of additional lymphocytes. In all in all, this leads to the degeneration of the basal layer. So at your level, all you have to remember is that this is a autoimmune disease where the target is the basal keratinocytes and the culprit is the CD8 plus T cells. Now why this happens, why this entire reaction happens is believed to be because of certain precipitating factors. So the precipitating factors are one, drugs such as NSAIDs, antimalarial, sulfonyl ureas, contact allergens such as restorations and toothpaste. The, these are called contact hypersensitivity reaction. The third thing is mechanical trauma, where lesions develop along the line of trauma. This is called the Cobner's phenomenon. The fourth are viral infections such as hepatitis C. And the fifth is idiopathic or unidentified agents. An interesting thing to note here is that it is associated with nervous individuals who are uh, more prone to periods of stress, more prone to periods of anxiousness rather than carefree individuals. The course of this disease, as I've told you, is chronic. It happens over months to years, undergoing periods of remissions and exacerbations. Now, there is an interesting syndrome here, which is the Grinspan syndrome. It tells us of the association of lichen planus with hypertension and diabetes mellitus. So, Grinspan syndrome is associated with lichen planus, which is a triad of lichen planus, hypertension and diabetes mellitus. Coming to the skin lesions that you see in uh, lichen planus, I'll give you a mnemonic to remember this. And the mnemonic is the four P's. So what classically the lesions that you see in lichen planus are papules. Okay, now the papules are polygonal in shape. 
they are purple in color and they are pruritic in nature okay so let's start reading the skin lesions of lichen planus are small angular flat topped papules right in this diagram you can see small angular flat papules which are few millimeters in diameter right papule is nothing but an elevated well circumscribed lesion on the skin less than 1 cm now multiple of these can join together and coalesce to form a plaque which is greater than 1 cm right so multiple papules may coalesce into larger plaques these are sharply demarcated from the surrounding skin and the color is initially red takes on a purple hue violet hue and then a dirty brown color the center of the papule may be slightly umbilicated and the primary symptom of lichen planus is severe pruritus so this fulfills our four p's which is papules which are polygonal angular flat topped color is purple and the nature is pruritic or itchy now if i were to zoom into any one of these papules right so i've zoomed in to say this papule what i would see here is classically white lines radiating around it right so you have many many white grayish white lines radiating into the lesion and this is classically called the wickham striae and always remember this is the pathognomonic feature of lichen planus so again if they ask you in your viva what is the pathognomonic feature of lichen planus you will say wickham striae the most common site of occurrence for these is the trunk and the flexor surfaces of the arms and legs and wrists so these are the outside folding surfaces the face remains uninvolved and in chronic cases you will see hyperplas hypotrophic plaques on the shins scalp and nail involvement is rare and there is an associated cobner phenomena cobner phenomena is the development of new lesions along the line of trauma so here if i have a pre existing lesion and if i cause a uh, if i scratch along this line in a gap of 1 to 2 weeks i would see the development of a new lesion the oral manifestations have six classical presentations which is the reticular papular plaque atrophic bullous and erosive and this i'll discuss with you in the next video so to again summarize what we have studied we have seen this is a chronic autoimmune mucocutaneous disorder which was first described by arasmus wilson it is caused by cd8 plus t cells which trigger the apoptosis of basal keratinocytes the precipitating factors for this reaction are drugs contact allergens mechanical trauma viral infections and unidentified agents the period is chronic association with grinspan syndrome and the lesions are polygonal angular flat topped purple pruritic and uh papules which can coalesce into plaques we have seen the cobner phenomena in the next video we'll talk about the oral manifestations so before concluding some questions for you what is the grinspan syndrome what is this, what is it associated with and what are the primary lesions in lichen planus with this i conclude the video i hope it helped you and uh, i will link the second part of the video in the description below so with that i hope you all have a good day and i'll see you in another video soon